Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Boo from Mile High Distilling. Today we are starting the first chapter of our new series, How to Build a Still. During this series, we're gonna be showing you how to build a reflux still, pot still, and everything in between different parts. But hey, we gotta start where we gotta flex a little bit, right? We're good at what we do. We like our work we do. We're proud of the work we do. So we're gonna be a little bit more advanced and start out the gate something cool. We're gonna start with our flute sections on our mile high flutes. During this course, we're gonna be showing you how to build deflamators and U-bins and shotguns and everything else. But we're gonna be starting with our flute sections because this is one of our more intricate practices here. And we really just want to start with the bang. But we make everything ourselves here at Mile High and you'll get welds like this when you put in that time and effort. If you're getting welds closer to something like this, that may not be made from a craftsman, that may be imported. You really don't have to worry about that too much because by the end of this video, you'll also be making your own pieces of equipment. Without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna be doing is cutting our pipes. Now, it's really up to you how many sections you want, at what lengths you want, that's all on you. We're gonna be cutting ours with a four inch diameter DWV copper pipe and then six inches long. That's what we make our sections at. Now from there, we're gonna take that on over to the belt and we're gonna get all our edges nice and clean, get rid of all those burrs. We're gonna hit the full outside edge, including the sides of those edges. We're gonna hit the inside with the deburr tool and get that nice and clean as well. And that should look a little something like this. Now we have to start getting everything sterile and ready to be welded up. So we're gonna be using alcohol and a rag and we're gonna wipe down anything that that torch is about to make contact with. Noah, I think, goes even more to the extreme and just pretty much hits everything with it. But you definitely are going to want at least get those edges and we're gonna to want to get our ferrules too. We use stainless ferrules, you might be using copper, but regardless of what you're using, get those clean and sterile and ready to weld. And now it's time to go ahead and get tack welded up. So we're gonna be hitting four corners in sort of a plus-like motion, one on each side. Uh, some welders do five in sort of a star pattern. It's really up to you. But after that first weld, go ahead and level everything out. Make sure everything's set for the second tack. For those who don't know, tack welding is really just a, a way to put everything in place so that when you go to weld, you're not moving around and switching that level up. So he's tack welding, making sure everything's solid. He's doing it on both sides of the ferrule. And then he's gonna come back and make sure everything's leveled up. And this is it folks, this is where it really begins. So we're gonna start by welding up. You're gonna see Noah with the silicone bronze rod. That's what we use to fuse copper to stainless. He's at 137 amps and 3.5 pulses per second on his welding machine. Not all welding machines are gonna have that pulse setting. It does make things easier. But stick with it on that rod, get everything nice and smooth. We have our positioner in place to where it's just kind of steadily rotating us. Uh, Noah's just doing work, man. He's, he's sort of my, my, my friend of me here, but you know what? I gotta give him credit where it's due. He is really good at what he does. If you guys are liking Noah's work, please leave a comment, sharing some love with him. I'm just gonna stay silent and let you guys watch the magic. And hopefully when all is said and done, you're looking something like this.
And now that our initial section assembly is finished, we're gonna be hitting it on the sander, making sure everything is nice and smooth. We're gonna hit those tri-clamp ends just in that regular rotation. We're letting the sander do most of the work there. And then when we come in for the middle, we're gonna be moving back and forth kind of like a cradle. It's a baby, man. Just don't drop the baby. Keep it in that cradling formation, left and right, left and right, and getting the rest of everything sanded. After everything's said and done, we should be looking a little something like this. And now we proceed with an optional step, which is drilling out a hole through that section to include a window. Windows are great for seeing reflux in action and controlling the amount of reflux going in. You're able to see just how much reflux is being produced through each of your sections. They also just look really clean. They add a really professional shape and design to that flute section. So it's really up to you, but all we're doing is putting our mill in there, drilling out a hole right to the center, pretty straightforward. And then at the end, we are gonna clean, clean, and then clean some more. We're gonna be OCD with it. We're gonna get everything cleaned around that hole. We're also gonna clean that full section. We're gonna get alcohol on the inside and clean that entire section inside as well as out. We're also gonna be taking an angle grinder and going along that hole that we just made inside and outside and deburring, making sure everything's clean and ready to be adhered to because we're gonna be welding a window housing into that hole. And I was gonna show you at the end sort of how it should look. Now we'll take our window housings. We're gonna unscrew the window from that housing, set it to the side, that's for later. And then those window housings, after they're all disassembled, we're gonna be wiping them down with alcohol around that rim, because remember, it's making contact with that torch. We're gonna want it clean. So now we begin with that same process. We're gonna be starting to tack weld up. So I do apologize right now for the camera. Um, we could not get a clear shot of this. We tried, I think, six times in total, and it just would not focus for us. But essentially, we'll weld, we'll tack weld all the way through on our on our corners or that star pattern. And then what we'll do is notice Noah technique where we're basically dipping that silicon bronze rod through. That's going to give us a nice even weld anymore, and it might look a little messy. But we're going to be going from tack mark to tack mark and essentially just dipping that silicon bronze rod in and proceeding along that weld until we're around the full circle. everything's said and done, hopefully you look a little something like this. Now that's looking a little messy, not the weld itself, but I think we need to go ahead and start buffing. So we're gonna hit with the buffer. We're gonna start with our window. That's gonna make our wheel jump. It's uh, that wheel likes to grab and around that circular pattern, it's just a little hard. Noah's done great. I would have dropped this probably three times by now, but yeah, we're gonna hit along the edges of there. And then we're gonna be doing that same cradle motion back and forth for our inner 
Don't forget to repeat the same motion you saw in the sander for the tri-clamp ends as well. Through that buffer, we're gonna be removing all our weld marks this way, and it's just gonna come out looking really clean and shiny and new. Don't forget those ferrules as well. You gotta hit those ferrules. We have to also screw in our section to complete our design. We've done it, we've completed it. Everything should be looking a little something like this. Note inside and outside and the cleanliness of it, the format of it all. I really hope you enjoyed this first part of the series. Let us know how much you're liking it. Be sure to like and subscribe for more of these videos as well as other distilling videos in general. Be sure to leave comments letting us know how the series is doing for y'all, what you'd like to see improved. And this section is mile high approved.